everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video and today guys we are going to make probably the most underrated disney princess that exists out there and i'm talking of course about kida of atlantis really i don't know what went wrong with this movie but i feel like half of the people in the world have never even heard about this story about this movie they have never watched it they have no idea who kida of atlantis is really i don't know what went wrong probably disney didn't invest that much into the marketing of the movie or something like this but there is also another huge group of people who really love this movie and who call Kida their favorite Disney princess and honestly me myself I'm one of these people because I think Kida is absolutely amazing first of all she's not just a princess but she's a princess who becomes a queen in the end of the story not even in the end of the story because we even have a chance to see how Kida is as a queen and she's actually amazing she makes beautiful decisions she really helps her nation and the world so Kida is truly amazing, she is brave, she is spontaneous, uh, yeah, I really like these kind of uh, girls, I really like these kinds of characters, and that's why today we are going to make Kida of Atlantis doll. I have no even idea if there are custom Kida of Atlantis dolls, there are a couple of official Disney dolls, but I don't even know if doll customizers have ever made Kida, at least probably yes, but I've never seen one myself, and also if we are thinking about like other uh, kinds of collaborations so uh, we've never got for example some eyeshadow palettes inspired by Kid of Atlantis like we did with all other Disney movies and so far and so on there are really no collaborations no nobody buys this franchise like I don't know there is something strange about this movie but I still think that Kida is amazing and I think that Kida definitely deserves having her own doll and this is exactly what we are going to make today so let's start working of course don't forget to subscribe to my my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and also please support my art here on YouTube with your likes this is all very important and this being said let's start working I've decided to use this Monster High doll for this makeover well I know she's green but I feel like she has the right face structure to be Kida like her skin tone I will be able to fix easily but the bone structure is more important for me so let's start like always with undressing this doll then I will cut her hair off warm her head up with a hair dryer to make it soft and easily detachable from the body and after this I will remove her face with pure acetone Thank you. 
Silicone, I'm sealing the face with Mr. Super Clear Sealant, my favorite sealant in the world. It will make the face suitable for drawing on it with pencils and it will also protect my work because I'm going to use this sealant regularly between the layers of pastels and pencils. There will be approximately, I don't know, around 20 layers of the sealant on her face in the end. So, I start with changing her face from green to tan, of course. I've made a reel about this entire process on my Instagram, explaining it all in more detail. So, you can check it out there, and don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram, by the way. I post daily updates in my stories there. But the main idea of this uh, process is to cancel the green color with the pink color, because this light green and pink, they're opposites of each other on the color wheel, so they will cancel cancel each other and then I'm going to apply nude pastels starting from very light ones and then going deeper and deeper like as deep as you want. Kida has quite a deep tan skin color so this is going to be my end goal today.
In the end, I'm of course drawing these blue tattoos under her eyes. They represent her tears for the lost city of Atlantis and it's kind of one of her very recognizable features. Good, the face looks really cute and now I can blush her body to make it the same color like the face but actually wait, I want to send her hands first because she has here this kind of a plant texture on her hands and I would really like to get rid of it and then after this I will blush it all with pastels. Okay, the face and the body look good and now I want to make her hair because I really like her creative haircut and I cannot wait to recreate it on my doll. But first of all I need to make her hair of course and I will use this white acrylic yarn for it. So first I'm turning this yarn into beautiful and shining doll hair and then I will glue it to the doll's head. Well, this is the next day, the glue seems to be dry and it means it's time to cut and style her hair. And you know, I feel like the most important thing to achieve any success in recreating this very complicated haircut is the right sectioning because there is really like a lot going on on her head. She has all kinds of layers and length on her hair. One side is super short, another side has a ponytail, the back is long but with some shorter pieces and then there are bangs with this point in the middle. So let's try to make something similar.
And you know what? I think your hair looks really good. I thought it would be much more struggling for me, but it was actually quite fun and the end result looks really good and very satisfying. I think she really looks like Kida right now. So now I was planning to make an outfit for her, but unfortunately guys, the fabric that I was going to use for it appeared to be of the wrong color. You can see it now on the picture. I don't know, somehow I have remembered it completely wrong. I thought it was kind of cold blue color, but in reality it's a much warmer shade of blue than I needed. So I've ordered the right shade of fabric online and while it's being delivered to me, I have a couple of days to make her accessories. So let's swap the things let's first make the accessories and then the outfit so she has this beautiful I don't know spear or how to call this kind of weapon I'm not really a weapon expert but it looks really cool and it will be very interesting to recreate it and for this I will use a barbecue stick and some pieces of warbler thermoplastic <laughs> Yes, it already looks really good to me. Now let's paint it all, let's cover it with silver and then I will add ropes around the stone on the bottom.
beautiful check it out guys i think this weapon looks absolutely gorgeous i don't know i really like it so now let's make a couple of bracelets for her you can see she has two round bracelets on her foot and a flat bracelet on her upper arm so i will make them out of warbler thermoplastic as well and then i will cover them with gold And she also needs a necklace with this very important blue crystal, so let's make it. Great! Now all the accessories are finished and I can finally make the outfit because I've received the new fabric literally this afternoon and I'm completely ready to start working on her outfit. Unfortunately guys I had to skip a Friday because of this but yeah there is nothing to do it was completely my fault I checked the fabric and realized it wasn't the right shade way too late I should have done it earlier then I would have more time to order the new fabric and to make the outfit on time but yeah it is what it is but anyway this fabric is here right now the shade is right and I'm ready to make the top and the skirt that Kida wears before becoming a queen because she wears different outfits in the movie I'm going to start with the top and first of all I need to make a pattern for it I've never made this sort of twisted bikini tops before so I will have to work on the pattern first So something like this would work probably I think, now let's sew it and let's see how it looks. Beautiful, very good. Happy with the top, now let's make a skirt. And I'm starting with creating a pattern as well, because this is where every sewing project begins.
skirt is decorated with red and golden stripes so I'm going to connect the red and two golden ribbons together and then I will attach them to the future skirt. Now we can sew the sides and also the darts. I've attached a couple of buttons to be able to fix the skirt around the doll's waist. And I've also added this long belt to complete the look. So this is the finished outfit. This is how it looks. Really beautiful and quite close to the outfit in the movie, in my opinion. And this is it probably guys. Now I just need to attach false lashes, put gloss to her eyes and lips. I also need to attach golden earrings and then we can take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is finally my finished Kida, the Queen of Atlantis, and you know, honestly, it feels like I've been working on this doll literally for years because of all this fabric situation. So I'm so happy right now that I can show the end result to you finally, I don't know, it really felt super long. And you know, I actually really love the way she looks in the end. Her hair is absolutely amazing. It's probably my favorite part of the project and it was also a lot of fun working on it. I think my dolls need more creative hairstyles like this. Then I'm really a fan of her weapon. I like making things like this, like all kinds of spears, swords, staffs, like these things. It was really fun. And of course I'm very happy about her outfit because because there was a moment when I thought there would be no outfit at all whatsoever so I'm double as happy about it because of this situation so and now guys I would really love to hear your side of the story first of all have you watched this movie or are you in the camp of people who have never heard about it I'm really curious to hear about it I guess most of my followers supposed to know this movie because most of you follow kind of Disney releases and other pop culture things and then if you watch the movie and you know Kida please let me know what you think about my version of this character. I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback as always. And this doll is right now available for sale on eBay. The link is in the description under this video. So please check it out if you're interested. So that was my doll transformation of the week. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon, probably next week Friday, in the new doll transformation. And now, have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye!